action speaks louder than words, so we are a platform where we share climate solutions, so scalable, viable, optimist solution that can do an impact right here, right now. We have another wonderful guest with us here at Change Now. Uh, could you say who you are and who you're representing? Yes, thank you for having me. I'm Kristen Hovland. I'm uh, the CEO of Keep It Technologies. Okay, and you're based in Norway? Uh, we're based in Norway, yes, that's okay. correct. Fantastic. So uh, tell us, uh, in briefly, what, what is your solution to uh, a climate uh, crisis type issue? What yeah. are you uh, dealing with here? Yeah, yeah. You know, what we want to do is to improve the sustainability of uh, food products. So we have developed a dynamic shelf life indicator for foods. So what we're doing is that we are applying a smart ink in our indicator and we put it on packaging of, of foods, which will then register temperature over time and show the actual you know, condition of a product. Basically, it will count down on a scale the number of days that you have left uh, on the product before it expires. Right. You've actually got an example of that I here. Do. Can, you, I do. can you pick it up and bring it over to the camera? Absolutely. Maybe we can... Absolutely. So this yeah. is now our second generation indicator. So as you can see here, uh, this is before or at uh, production. So you have uh, plenty of days left before yeah. it will expire, right? right? But what happens here is that the smart, smart ink in each of these squares will disappear logically over time. And the speed of that depends on the temperature that the product is exposed to. So right. What is this doing? Well, it, it will show you if it actually expires before the date stamp date has been reached, right? So yeah. you avoid eating bad food. Yeah. But also, very importantly, and as we know, there's a lot of food that is being unnecessarily you know, thrown away. Yeah. It will also show you if the product lasts beyond the date stamp date. Okay, right? okay. That's know from research, yeah. by the way, that 85% of food that is thrown away in retail today is actually edible. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You could actually eat it. Yeah, but yeah. it's thrown away. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Let's put that back a second there. Thank you so much. And um, why did you join this uh, Action Speak uh, initiative? Uh, what was your interest in that? Yeah. I mean, we, we are a very small company from Norway. You know, we're basically, we're not the startup. We are actually been in business for some years. But yeah. what we have seen is that it's very difficult you know to with new technology uh, to break through yeah so in other words you know we need some you know uh, supporters we, we need yeah. to gather you know a better you know force let's say to be able to you know bring new technology on the market so that's actually what we're looking for and hoping for with uh, with action speaks right 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 and um, what about being here in Paris uh, 10 years after the Paris Climate Agreement, actually, uh, and uh, this change now. Is, is it been interesting to meet uh, a new group of people that maybe haven't heard of what you're doing? Yeah. No, it's great to be here. I mean, it's great inspiration. I mean, wherever you go here, you see, you know, new technologies, uh, innovative solutions. Uh, it's quite fantastic what has happened, you know, the, the last few years. Yeah. Now, yeah. one of the things that uh, for our company, uh, we can also, you know, uh, talk to other companies that have, you know, the same challenges as us. One of the big challenges that we do have in order to get to our market uh, with our product is the regulatory area. And I see that there's a lot of other companies that have the same challenges, you know, because yeah. we have old regulations, you know, yeah. that, that stops us. So to join forces with them and to discuss with them and maybe even to find partnerships is, is something that is great for us. Yeah, you, you put your, uh, your, your finger on a very important thing. Often the regulations are way behind the, the innovation uh, and that, that can block uh, things for unnecessary reasons. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good, uh, I've been asked to ask you also, do you do anything in your own life uh, that is uh, uh, a sustainable action that you're proud of? Yeah, T to me that's, pretty easy I would say you know, because I, I work with um, products and, and, and uh, fresh food and date stamps you know so yep. I'm trying every day not to throw away food unnecessarily you yep. know and and, yep. and the thing is I'm, I'm trying to teach my kids you know not to do the same which is yep. I don't know why but you know the younger generation today they yep. are so scared about uh, you know passing the date stamp so this is something that I spend time on every day you know to yeah, avoid yeah. throwing away food 
cup. But smell it, uh, taste it, you know, look at it, you know, before you just throw it in the bin. So that that's I try to do that every day. Thank you very much, Thank you.